Hi guys, it's me Chloe and I'm back with another video and from now on any of these videos where I give advice on or for LGBT videos or anything like that are going to be like this because I like the aspect of the blank screen audio podcast thing to get everyone's attention more Um, so um, hopefully it works and people like it and the only time you'll see my face is when I do hauls of whatever kind I do so um yeah and little update my iPad that I used to film on for when I started my YouTube um gone a bit bust it just wouldn't let me sign in because it said something about connect to iTunes but my amazing boyfriend fixed it on the weekend so it was all sorted and so now I'm back to filming on it and love it um so yeah um i just want to apologize for any um background noise you may hear um of like my house or in the street um um just in case you can pick up on that um other than that let's get into the video and today's video i'm going to be give it talking about advice on friendships in general whether it be like a good friendship or bad to toxic friendship or anything in between really um so that's what i'm talking about um so i feel like first i'm just gonna talk about i feel like everyone thinks when you're younger friends you have when you're younger you get to have for like the rest of your life all the way through school like primary and secondary body yada, yada. but that's not the case because sometimes most of the time when it comes to children having to then kids have to then go to like secondary school not all of your friends end up going to the same secondary school so so then that's the first dilemma of many to do with friendships where you'll have to realize that you have to make more new friends in a new environment and you may you may then lose contact with that friend who you did once have because they're at a totally different school and they make new friends and they're just so busy with you know school work family and just life in general and that's fine that happens then you've got the whole aspect once you leave school altogether where it really tests your friendships to see how it will keep in contact with you or not and um i know this because i obviously americans would say graduate from high school um um finished secondary school what we could say in the uk in 2017 so and then i stayed back yeah to do sixth form and then i was meant to do two years sixth form but um yeah that didn't work um but yeah um so yeah and it was so basically after leaving school and having the long summer that way you have once you leave like 10 weeks off which was in a way what i think everyone looked forward to but then in the end of the day when it actually came you liked it but then you just felt bored you just want want something to do um which i definitely felt and um i did feel a bit alone nicely because i didn't have much friends anyway and I wouldn't say not all the one friends I did have, not all of them were good friends. Not all of my friends that I had during school were good or loyal friends to me. Um, hence why I've mentioned that some friendships can turn bad or toxic even. Um, and that can obviously have its toll on you mentally and physically and cause trust issues, body yada yada as well, which it definitely has for me. Um as well and i feel like one thing people need to realize is like especially when it comes to toxic friendships is that you can grieve that friendship even though they haven't physically died you know what i mean i think people were like why are you grieving they're not dead i was like i was like you can grieve the loss of something without physically being dead so like i can grieve the loss of some friendships that i've had toxic or not just because 
you know, your brain and you, like surround you with the good memories and the good times. But then you have to remind yourself, it's like, well, you've drifted apart or came to the point now in life where you are now where you don't talk for a reason, whether it be because you did something wrong or they did something wrong or you just drifted apart naturally or etc um it just happens and um i i had one really really good friend who um i viewed as a sister to me and um we would, we would talk all the time support each other and everything and we were so close we nearly planned a double wedding together um nearly planned on moving in with her and her then boyfriend and um it everything was so good then but then um it wasn't till realizing in a way after that we fell out that i realized that in a way she was a bit toxic and probably maybe even a compulsive liar um about some of the stuff she was telling me um and obviously i would believe the stuff that people told me not just her but any friendship because i would believe that my friends when they tell me something and they're so being sarcastic like obviously sarcastic that they wouldn't lie to me but then again i think i struggle with knowing when something's joke or not because of my autism um so i don't think that helps um but yeah like i've been had some awful pranked one time off my so-called best friends in secondary school um said that after they came to knock on me and try and hang out um that they got that one of them got run over and made me believe that they died when they didn't um so yeah there's one thing um so i definitely have trust issues when it comes to friends and i also definitely have trust issues when it comes to friends with boys more in particular just because being messed around by boys whether it be friends relationships etc so um it the trauma that comes with being mistreat in only some way sticks with you you know what i mean um to the point where it can eat you up in inside and wreck your brain and body to bits um and you have to find obviously someone or some way to help cope with this because it's not just going to disappear and um i think for me is i've always loved music come to express my feelings because i feel like um lyrics can sometimes explain how you feel if you don't know how to feel depending on what song and, and any music will be able any mood of music or type of music will have a mood to explain how you feel so music is my life and is my therapy for that and i swear by it and um, i also love writing creating um, my stories and i've done a few poems as well um as I just love some poems that were happy and then some were like more deep, many about sadness and mental health and stuff. Um, um, and then as regard my stories um, that I do either on my Wattpad or just on normal Google Docs, um, I always like, even if I come up with something, like obviously fit, most of it's fictional unless I do do something that's based on real life. Um, I always like to base a character or some facts in the story that I'm up basing on uh, on a reality of linking to me or someone I know because then I feel more connected to the story and that it's not just all fake sort of thing. Um, one story that I didn't think I would ever have the guts to write was the one that um, I wrote about my life story about um, that's still not done. <laughs> And I'm gonna keep adding to it until ages, um. But it's called my double rainbow life, and it's about my life on two kind of spectrums, as we will. Because obviously, people say it being autistic is like on a spectrum. And obviously, a rainbow is like a spectrum, and obviously, being part of the LGBT community 
as well as a spectrum so i just thought the title was very fitting and then i've done the chapters and then i did like glossary at the back for anyone who didn't know of any um identities or micro labels of um anything in the community because i know not everyone's um educated enough about it and i could rant about that in an education tips video for like ages um just with how f the fact that they need to teach more in schools and unis and colleges etc just lgbtq rights and equality and stuff some are not some are not getting as many homophobic, transphobic, biphobic, queerphobic, etc. people who are against the fact that love is love and love has no gender and that gender is just a social construct and it isn't just male, female, it can be anywhere in between. Um so yeah. Um I think that's it i've had a quite a bit of a rant and got a bit off subject about this um so um i'll apologize for that um but yeah um let me know in the comments if you want me to like link anything that i've mentioned below like my web pad or um etc um or anything else i've mentioned that i could preferentially maybe link um and yeah, um, as always, my socials will be in the outro to keep an eye on what I do there. I love posting TikToks of just multiple, any random sounds. So if you like watching random TikToks of any random sounds, mostly of my favourite artists, but favourite artists, but I do do some random ones as well. And I have done a ton of high part ones when I was a while back as well, if anyone's interested. Um, so that's over on my TikTok, um, and obviously Instagram, obviously there's some photos and stuff you can see, um, I probably will be posting some over, again, on the over on the weekend, because I'm going to a party later today, um, so I'll have some pictures and probably post that, so be tuned to say that, um, um, that's all I've got to say, um, so yeah. Um, I've been Chloe, um, um, have a nice day, and yeah, peace and love.